Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be tackling the question of Is the Mantis in Halo 4 actually alive? So, I know what you're thinking, like, what kind of question is that? Sounds like a silly question, right? Because even in Forge, um, in a Forge menu, the Mantis is classified as a vehicle and, you know, you, you use it as a vehicle, it looks like a vehicle and it functions like a vehicle, so it must be a vehicle, right? Well, that's actually not the case. So while the Mantis may behave like a vehicle in every way, the interesting thing is that it's not a vehicle. And I'll get into the details for that in a little bit. But first, I just want to show you guys a few things, just so uh, you can keep it in your mind when we um, do a few comparisons and I show you some uh, the reason why the Mantis is not a vehicle. So when you blow up vehicles, you know, in, in Forge at least, you know, they blow up, you know, they become like different pieces and then they despawn after a few seconds. That's that's normal, you know, nothing odd about that. And the Mantis does the exact same thing as the uh, Warthog, the Mongoose, and pretty much every other vehicle. They blow up, and they sit there for a little bit, and then they despawn, and eventually they respawn. But the Mantis, it's uh, it's not just a vehicle, like I said. In fact, in the game files, it's not even classified as a vehicle. These are all the vehicles on uh, Forge Island, for example, and you don't see the Mantis in there. In fact, the Mantis is actually considered a biped. A biped is basically like a character in the game, a living character essentially. And to prove to you that the Mantis is essentially alive, as far as the game is concerned, we're going to be going on the China version of MCC. And the reason why we're doing that is because the China version of MCC, as you know, has some interesting censorship features built into it, where dead bodies have to be removed very quickly. Whereas, you know, like in Halo 2, dead bodies get shrunk down to like oblivion. But in newer games, starting with Halo 3 and newer, dead bodies actually just uh, fade away. And that applies for every living creature in the game that dies. Covenant, humans, even the, uh, the monitor in Forge, the Forge Ball, in Halo 2 Anniversary. Because Halo 2 Anniversary is the same engine as Halo 4, it has the same censorship uh, style built in. So in Halo 2 Anniversary Forge, when the Forge monitor dies, it just kind of drops to the ground and fades away. Even though it's technically a machine, as far as, you know, the lore goes. But what about the Mantis? So, because the Mantis is actually a biped, like a living creature essentially, uh, we can actually put this to the test using the censorship features of the China version of MCC. So, because it's a character or like a, a living being, so to speak, when the Mantis dies, it should fade away, just like any other dead body. So, you know, nothing else is different about the Mantis physically in uh, the China version of MCC, but when we blow it up, it, uh, well, it still blows up the same way, you know, it just dies that way, but when it dies, it fades away, just like a dead body. And just for comparison, we're going to blow up the uh, Warthog and Mongoose here, and you will see that when they blow up, they do not fade away like the Mantis does, or dead bodies do. They, well, they're the exact same as regular MCC the uncensored MCC, you know, they blow up, they become different chunks, maybe go on fire for a little bit, and then they just go poof when they despawn in Forge. And that's the same with every other vehicle in the game. But because the Mantis is not a vehicle, it does not fade away. I mean, it, it does not just go poof anymore. It instead fades away. And I'll show you guys that one more time with these two Mantises, because um, like I said, this applies to every creature in the game, every living biped. Whenever they die, they just fade away because that's that's the game censorship kicking in. Because as far as the game is concerned, as far as the censorship features are concerned, the Mantis is, you know, just as alive as a, um, you know, a Spartan or an Elite or a Grunt or a Marine. So there you guys have it. The Mantis in Halo 4 technically is alive. Now, lore-wise, it's not you know, alive. <laughs> it's, it is actually a vehicle. And, you know, for all intents and purposes in the game, it is, you know, really a vehicle. And, of course, in Forge, it's classified as a vehicle. But, for whatever reason, the, um, the game designers chose to make the Mantis a uh, biped instead. And the reason why you could drive the Mantis, like drive a biped, is because that, that's, that's, you know, it's supported in Halo. 
if you've seen my previous videos, I've driven other creatures, like I've driven Flood and other stuff like that in Halo 3. Y you can make any biped drivable. That's why that works. But the Mantis is alive, so <laughs> next time you like decide to, um, you know, mess with the Mantis, just remember that it's actually still alive and has feelings. But anyways, <laughs> hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be uh, interesting. And if you did, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Anything else you want to check it out looking to, just let me know. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.